Hello, Kyler here, and today I'm going to tell you all about the road trip I went on with my dad this summer. Our story begins on day two of our road trip in Crescent City, California, in a Denny's parking lot. All right, guys, so our adventure has officially started. Uh, we've crossed over into California. We crossed over last night. Kyler was driving at the time. Uh, last evening, we actually ended up staying in the Home Depot here in Crescent City. We haven't been in the Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> yeah, we didn't break and enter into the Home Depot, but you know. No, yeah, we definitely did not break and enter into the Home Depot. Yeah, so we stayed at the parking lot last night, and uh, but last evening we had a real hard time finding something to eat. Um, interesting fact, Kyler actually saw a uh, guy named Rick from Pawn Stars uh, as yeah. we were stopping by different places that we thought may have food, but all we could find was uh, deep fried whatever. Anyway, so we are here at um, Denny's. We're waiting for Denny's to open. It's eight o'clock. We're here in Crescent City. So we got some food, but then we realized we had some time to kill. So we decided to go visit some sharks. <laughs> Currently out here with Sam, Sam the Adventure Man in an aquarium. Yeah. How, how, are, how are you containing your excitement? No, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, there's a chance I might actually get to touch a starfish. Whoa. So after Sam, Sam the Adventure Man was finally able to fulfill his lifelong dream of touching a starfish and a sea anemone, we headed down to San Francisco, California, and that's where day three of our road trip begins. here at the Chase Center, home of the Golden State Warriors, and we are exploring San Francisco. So come along and let's see what we can see. That's pretty cool. And yeah, why don't you go get it? Why don't you go posterize them real quick? Go, go get them? Yeah, what would you do? With the facial. So after a day in San Francisco and seeing what it had to offer, including the highest gas prices I've ever seen in my life, we headed down to Monterey Bay, California to see local diver Brent and Mitch and go diving with him. And that is where day four of our video begins. So after our dive and battle with the jellyfish, we continued our way down south and ended up in Los Angeles that evening. All right guys, so this is day four of our trip and we decided to stop by Staples Center, the home of my favorite basketball team, the LA Lakers. There's Jerry, there's Jerry West, there's Jerry West. Next we need a Kobe statue. And then maybe one day LeBron and Anthony Davis and maybe Westbrook. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So after my delusions of grandeur had subsided, we continued our way south to the U.S.-Mexico border crossing into Tijuana. This will be my first time in Mexico, so. So yeah, should be interesting. Man, look at that flag. It's I know, it's so cool. It's huge. Yep, that's Mexico over there. That's where we're heading, so. Yeah. All right, let's see how this goes. Behind me, we got this beautiful, beautiful Mexican flag. Uh, Mexican people are wonderful, great people. I'm a big fan of Hispanics. Oh yeah, I got the real cool Tijuana arch right behind us. It says Tijuana back there. Oh, the sign just switched, so it's time for us to walk. 
anyway, uh, we'll give you more of an update when we're out of the middle of the streets and not flashing our iPhones. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, real quick update. We're here in Mexico right now, Tijuana. We feel 100% out of place. Realize we definitely need to brush up on our Spanish. Yeah. And um, it's been amazing just walking through, checking out the stores, checking out the people. Um, we're gonna give you a little bit more of an update after we're out of here. Anyway, just uh, US says the sign for US is just back there. Um, anyway, so US is about this way to walk to the bridge. We hit that and uh, get back to the States because we are feel 100% out of place. Yep, ignorant. A no big time about. ignorant, so we're gonna get out of here. So yeah, for us, Tijuana was a complete culture shock. There was a lot of sad things going on there, a lot of poverty, and it just, it was honestly heartbreaking. I don't think that's indicative of the whole country of Mexico at all, because I've seen, you know, there's beautiful, nice places, but that was, there was a lot of sad things going on there. And um, yeah, I definitely want to visit Mexico again, but yeah, I just, I don't know. And then equally as jarring to me was the fact that 15 miles down the road, we were in Coronado Beach and just the immense wealth and the fact you could still see Tijuana from there. It was just, it was crazy. <laughs> So here at Coronado Beach now, just got some ice cream. I finished mine, Kyler's eating his. Got live music playing, beautiful scene. Got the famous Coronado Hotel over there. Anyway, I love this song. <laughs> You've seen it all. You've seen it all. So after that, we decided to start heading north towards home. But along the way, we decided to stop at Slab City, which is where day five of our video picks up. It just like really speaks to me and is really beautiful to me because it's uh, such a bold and you know out there statement and proclamation of like you know love for god and love for the lord in a time when you know that's not a quote unquote cool thing or you know common thing to do publicly and it's just you know, so out here and it's just you know it's a beautiful thing but i do recommend coming here if you get an opportunity and see it for yourself because you know video and pictures don't really do it justice but yeah oh here it is east jesus we take a left we're gonna hit east jesus more so this is supposedly more of the artsy side I didn't realize dolphins were such menaces. They're really out here. Dog. All right, a little something. Oh, hey, I won. Out here today in Slab City's finest basketball court. Oh yeah, hooping at Slab City. Living the American dream. Yeah. But for, for some people, this is the American dream, you know. For some people, this is, you know, freedom. For some people, this is, you know, many people, uh, this is not being in the system. This is, you know, living life under your terms. So that is where today's footage will end, but I just gotta say that was the best road trip I've ever been on and I'm so grateful for the lifelong memories I was able to make with my dad on it. And I just wanna thank everyone that's helped support me and support him and help make that road trip possible. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace.